These are turbulent times for journalists, broadcasters, and media professionals. But SAG-AFTRA's broadcast department has stepped up to the challenge. As attacks on journalists have increased, the union has been speaking out on the vital importance of journalists to our democracy. People hear, oh, that's fake news, or that's reported badly, or oh, all these reporters are, you know, putting their own spin on things. And so that has hurt from personal uh, relationships up through the highest levels of government. SAG-AFTRA has conducted on-site safety trainings to make sure members know their rights when accepting a risky assignment. The union has also engaged employers and community officials to ensure the safety of reporting teams broadcasting from dangerous floods and fast-moving wildfires. I don't want to be out in downtown Fresno doing a live shot by myself watching gear and a camera. I know that there are reporters and journalists that are going through that exact situation and I don't want to feel unsafe when I do my job. The idea that this organization represents journalists steadfastly and can go into negotiations or, or in between negotiations and meet with management to say these are true safety concerns. These are workplace hazards. That's incredibly important. Member-led organizing and negotiations have paid off with big wins and important gains. New shops were added in public media at WBUR in Boston and KUOW in Seattle. In a historic win, Al Jazeera English became their first multi-bureau news network to unionize since merger. Coverage was expanded to new positions nationwide. At New York Public Radio, part-time, temporary, and digital workers achieved union representation. The digital team at WBBM AM in Chicago won an NLRB election. Intercom Radio in Pittsburgh added producers to their contract, and SAG-AFTRA signed the first digital reporter contract with ABC. New negotiating tactics were implemented at the bargaining table. The department coordinated across locals with the same employers, including Intercom Communications, Fox, iHeartRadio, NBC, and Nexstar. Member team bargaining units were created with ABC shop stewards from each region. And across the country, union contracts were adapted to meet the needs of an increasingly digital first industry. We know challenges remain. Bankruptcies, mergers, and acquisitions are changing the industry landscape. The union is working hard to help members stay one step ahead, counseling them on their personal contracts, buyouts, and layoff packages. SAG-AFTRA will continue to advocate for things like pay parity, safety, and free press protections. Our members are dedicated to bringing their communities the best coverage possible, whatever the circumstances. But being a union professional is more than that. It's about lifting up your colleagues and ensuring the next generation is as engaged with their union as we are today.